Coach Nick Saban spoke today at the SEC teleconference, and he talked about a couple of guys who right now are nicked up, and that's Malachi Moore and James Burnup. So we got an update on those guys. We're going to pass that along to you. But first, we're looking for some big-time recruits. We're looking for some talent. We want to invite you to the best tailgate party on YouTube. That's the uh, Bama Tailgate channel. This is Bama Tailgate Daily. Here's your invite. Like, subscribe. If you enjoy the videos, give us a thumbs up. Share with your friends and hit the bell so you know when we're dropping new content. So Malachi Moore, who is one of the best players on the football team, and this is a great defense, and he's one of the captains of that defense, and Alabama certainly needs him, got a high ankle sprain injury in Alabama's win over Texas A&M. And when he went out of the game, Texas A&M was able to score uh, twice. They took the lead, but Alabama came back and ended up winning the football game. He's such a key cog for the Crimson Tide because he can play star and he can play money and he's good on nickel, he's good on dime, and then you got to find a bunch of different guys to replace him, move players around because he's so valuable. So the good news is is that Nick Saban says it's a game-time decision, which means that there's a chance that he could be back to take on Arkansas 11 o'clock Saturday in Tuscaloosa. When I look at this matchup, I don't know that he's as valuable as – he would be against Tennessee. We saw what Tennessee can do last year when Alabama had a tough time stopping them. They spread you out. They throw the ball all over the place. And, you know, maybe if if he's not ready to go this week, you hold him back and he's ready for Tennessee. But Nick Saban's never done it that way. If a guy can practice and a guy can perform, he's going to throw him out there on the field. So we'll keep an eye on Malachi Moore. But the good news is if he's day-to-day, which we're hearing it's a game-time decision, that's what Nick Saban says, then that means he's close to being back and that he could possibly play, right? He's a Bronco Nagurski watch list player. I, he's going to be a finalist, and I'm telling you right now, the way this guy's playing, don't be surprised if he's a, he doesn't win this award. He's really one of the best at his position in the entire country, and, and uh, he's just a key cog on this Alabama defense. So that's all good news right there from Coach Nick Saban and uh, Alabama going into this game against Arkansas. All right, let's move over to James Burnup, the punter. Uh, Lower body body injury, not body, lower body injury. What does even that mean? Sounds like a hockey right thing. Well, they've been saying that for a while. You know, obviously pulled a muscle or something, kicking the football. And they're saying that he could come back. It just depends on how he progresses this week. So what does that mean? How How do you progress? And that's... I guess with therapy, you know, how is he feeling? The good thing is Will Riker did a, a phenomenal job of filling in four punts and over 41 yards per punt or average anyway. So he did a good job. It, you don't feel like it's it's a big drop off, even though Burnup's the number one punter in the SEC, not having him in there. The thing that I talked about yesterday and I'll say it again today is you just don't want anything to happen to Will Riker because the way that this team style is, they need him to be able to kick those field goals. They're going to score touchdowns. We know that. But at the same time, there is just something about knowing that your field goal kicker is good inside the 50 or inside the 40. You know, and, and, and when he's in range, he's as good as any kicker in the country. He's college version of Justin Tucker of the Ravens. I mean, he's just been that good. So you don't want anything to happen with him punting. You know, if he's punting the ball or, you know, it, it, there's a chance that maybe somebody comes in, blocks the punt, runs into him, he gets hurt. You know, I don't know. I guess just always thinking like Murphy's Law. You just don't want something bad to happen to one of your best players. So that's where we are right now. We'll keep you updated right here again on the uh, Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. And if you missed it, here's your invite. We want you to be a part of the channel. Roll Tide, everybody. <laughs> 